the J. I love you so much. <laughs> hey, Red, what's up? Harles, I'm so bored. I'm wilting. What do you say to a girl's night out? <gasps> a G and O, yay! Ooh, 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 let's call cats. <sighs> Gee, I don't know, Harles. That catfish? Mmm, I don't think so. Aw, oh, come on, Red. The more, the merrier. Fine, but if she gets too frisky, you're the one taking out the kitty litter. I'll see you in a few. Hey there, you could call me Poison, Poison Ivy. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get this beautiful botanical look. Okay guys, starting off, I'm using my Eye Magic palette and I'm gonna take this creamy red, buffing it into my hairline and down the hollows of my cheek. Then I'm gonna go over it with the orange color in the palette and then go over that with the yellow, fading it into one another until it looks almost like I have a sunset mask. Next, I'm going to go over it with my NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette, matching the color, the yellow over the yellow, orange over the orange, and red over red. With a fluffy blending brush, I'm gonna take this yellow shadow and place it over the top of my lid. Then I'm gonna go in with the orange mid lid into the crease. And deeper into the crease with the red. For some more dimension, I'm gonna take this dark brown shadow and take it further into the crease, blending it all together. Taking my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Rocky Mountain Green, I'm going to apply it to the lower lash line and go over it with some green sparkly shadow for my Urban Decay Moon Dust Palette. And then clean up any smudges with a Q-tip. For my upper lash line, I'm going to apply my Makeup Forever's Waterproof Pencil in M14. And for more precision, I'm going to take my L'Oreal Voluminous Liner Noir and really wing it out. Curl them lashes for some lift. And apply black mascara generously, starting at the bottom and wiggling upwards. Time for falsies. I'm using my Salon Perfect in 615 and 614. Applying my Tinkerbell Lash Glue, allowing it to get tacky, then placing as close to the lash line as possible, adjusting with tweezers, and letting it dry for 20 seconds. Repeat the same steps with the second set of lashes. Ta-da! Ta-ta-ta-ta-ta! Going back to that green jumbo pencil, I'm going to begin to trace out my mask in one big leaf shape around the eye. Then I'm gonna create two more little leaves at the bottom. Then going over it with some shimmery green shadow from NYX. Using my razor sharp liner from Urban Decay, I want to begin to create little dots around the mask. After that, I'm going to take these green sequins I got from the craft store and place it around the mask with adhesive. For a beautiful glow, I'm using my FX Illuminator and applying it to my upper cheekbone and down the center of my nose. Then going back to that razor sharp liner in Deep End, I'm going to outline the bottom leaves. Then taking some glitter, I'm going to place it around the mask we created for some sparkling shine. I'm taking my NYX Glide On Sliner in red tape and my Makeup Forever lip liner in C14. I'm gonna first outline and fill in my lips with that nudish pink color, 
Then going in with the red liner, I'm gonna focus in the inner part of my lips and run it down the center of the bottom lip, taking it up to the cupid's bow and the sides of my lip. Then taking my Vice palette, I'm gonna use this creamy nude lipstick and gently pat it over the parts where I wanna keep it more nude. Then taking the red and focusing on the parts that I wanna keep more red. Working it in till I have it just the way I want it, looking a bit venomous and perfect for a deadly kiss. Mwah. And finally, for some more Poison Ivy Charm, we're gonna take some leaves and adhesive and stick them in a pattern going up the side of my decollete area to my neck. Then I'm just gonna add in some sparkle and shadow. And there is my take on the venomous villain, Poison Ivy. Be sure to check out the rest of the Gotham Girls Night Out with Harley Quinn and Catwoman. I've always been a huge fan of the gorgeous Gotham Girls, so I hope you enjoy the series. And remember, you are beautiful, baby, so shine like a star. Harley. Cats, what do you say to a girl's night out? Girl's night out? Why not? I just woke up from a cat nap and I'm ready to take the town. <laughs> Yay! I'll text you when we're on our way. <laughs> Harley Quinn, nice to meet ya. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get this fantastically fun, fabulous look. Perfect for a night out on the town with the ladies. <laughs> okay guys, I've already prepped and primed my face with Ben Nye's cream foundation in porcelain and white powder. Perfect for that bleach skin look. Starting off with the eyes, I'm using my Eye Magic palette and taking that bright red, I wanna apply it to the right eye, starting in the inner corner and working it up along my brow bone to a point, then connect it back down to the outer corner of my eye. Then I'm gonna fill it in and I'm gonna take it down to my bottom lash line, add a couple of lines streaking down, and it's totally good if it's a little messy. Next, taking my Urban Decay Full Spectrum Palette, I'm gonna go over the cream shadow with the reddish pink colored Gossip. Then I'm gonna do the same thing on my left eye, just using the blues instead of the reds. There are so many amazing versions of the new Harley Quinn out there, I wanted to do something a little different. Mixing it a bit with the Harley Quinn I grew up with from the animated series, which is a lot more clown-like. Uh. 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 Now taking my Urban Decay Moon Dust palette, I'm gonna take this shimmery midnight blue shadow and place it right onto the lid and work it into the crease. Then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side with the copper shadow. After that, I'm gonna take the black shadow and I'm really gonna build that definition in the crease. For eyeliner, I'm using my Makeup Forever pencil in M14. And I'm just gonna line my top and bottom lash line, winging it out a bit on the top. to curl them lashes for some lift. And generously apply some mascara, starting at the bottom and wiggling upwards. I'm also gonna add some falsies using my Salon Perfect Lashes in 615. Applying my Tinkerbell Lash Glue, I'm gonna allow it to get tacky, place as close to the lash line as possible, adjusting with tweezers, and letting dry for 20 seconds. Next, I'm gonna go back over it with a liquid liner to help give it more definition. Then I'm gonna go back to the black shadow and go over it all again. We want those eyes to boom, bang, pop. With a tiny brush, I'm gonna mix the black and brown from my Eye Magic palette, then begin to fill in and define my brows. You could shape them any way you like. I decided to go with a more bold look. Now this is totally optional, but you guys know I love me some glitter. So I'm gonna use my NYX Face and Body Glitter Brilliance in violet and red, adding them just beneath the eyes with a brush for some extra sparkle and shine. 
Next, using my L'Oreal's Bee Lion Fine Tip Liner, I'm going to draw in my little heart mark, just below the right eye. And finally, for my lips, I'm going to use my Makeup Forever's Eyeliner in M14 to outline those clown-like lips. And fill them in with my NYX's Full Throttle Lipstick in Up The Base. Mwah! And there is my take on my favorite Gotham girl, the crazy cute Holly Quinn. Be sure to check out the rest of the girls' night out with Poison Ivy and Catwoman. I've always been a huge fan of the gorgeous Gotham girls, so I hope you enjoy the series. And remember, you are beautiful, baby, so shine like a star. Catwoman, hear me roar. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get this fabulous feline look as I get ready for Gotham's Girls Night Out. All right guys, I've already prepped and primed my face using NYX's SFX Cream Color Face and Body Paint in white. For my eyes, I'm gonna start off by using L'Oreal's Extra Intense Liquid Pencil Liner. Then, using my NYX's Ultimate Shadow Palette in Smoky and Highlight, I want to take that black matte shadow and apply it right over the liner just to lock it all in. Mixing the gray shadow with the maroonish purple, I'm going to blend it right over the top, working it up into a cat-eyed shape. And it's totally okay if it's a little messy because, well, Catwoman's a little messy. Next, using L'Oreal's Voluminous Feline Mascara, I'm going to generously apply, starting it at the base of my lash line and wiggling upwards. You could stop there or go more dramatic with me, using some falsies. Here I'm using Ardell Wispies and Kiss's number 11 lashes. Apply some lash glue, allow it to get tacky, and place it as close to the lash line as possible. Adjust with tweezers and then go over it with the other set of lashes for a double impact. Okay, if you don't plan on buying a Catwoman mask, then you could just draw it on like me. Going back to that black liner, I'm going to very patiently begin to freehand the mask. I recommend using reference photos to help. After I'm done outlining the mask, I'm going to begin to fill it in with NYX's SFX Cream Color in Black. So this look is very heavily inspired by Michelle Pfeiffer's Catwoman, which is my personal favorite, and Batman Returns is my favorite Batman movie of them all. Although I am a sucker for anything Tim Burton. I wanted to do something a little different with that wild blonde hair of hers out of the mask, getting the best of both worlds. After I'm all done filling in the mask, I'm going to go over it all with a black shadow just to lock it all in and help keep it from smearing. Now taking some black liquid liner, I'm going to create lines where I want my stitches. Then I'm going to mark out the stitches with my NYX's colored felt tip liner in white. And to make that mask even a little more realistic, I'm going to go over it with shimmery silver pigment from NYX, placing it in the areas where the light would hit it. And to complete this catastic mask, I'm going to go over those lines with Urban Decay's Razor Sharp Liquid Liner in Bump, which makes those stitches really stand out. And finally, for those lips, I'm going to outline them with NYX's slide-on liner in Brick House. Cause she's a brick! Mm, house! She's not connected! Just letting it all hang out! Letting it all hang out! And fill it all in with J-Cat's Hydrating Lip Stain in Peekaboo! I found this to be the perfect shiny red for Catwoman. Mm -hmm. And there 
is my take on the fierce feline Catwoman. Be sure to check out the rest of my Gotham Girls Night Out with Poison Ivy and Harley Quinn. I've always been a huge fan of the gorgeous Gotham Girls, so I hope you enjoy the series. And remember, you are beautiful, baby, so shine like a star. Later that night. Woohoo! G N O! G N O! Pull over. Are those diamonds in the window? Cool off, Kitty. You're gonna get us caught. You might as well have turned on the bat signal. Hey, ladies. Hope you don't mind me crashing the party. Meow! Aw, man. Busted by Batman. 